Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just a quick thing. I just put a short out on um, a filing technique. I haven't had much experience in. I, I thought they were kind of a gimmick, but um, until the hexa file gets here, and you, you know, which is according to Steel, spring of 2022. Um, what can you do to try that profile out? That's, that's kind of what this video is about today. And the closest thing you'll find in production as far as a file goes is the, uh, it's not even like a, like a true hexagon, but uh, it's uh, the, three, the three square chisel bit file. Um, and let me see, I think I've got a brand new one over here somewhere. Yeah, it's the, sorry, three square chisel bit. And so here's your standard, well, here's your standard round file, right? And here's your standard, what people, most people square file with. These double bevels. This is a preferred, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And here's your three square chisel bit file. It's a preferred as well, I believe. Um, so let me get a close up on that for you, just in case you haven't ever seen one. Um, so here, let me look, here's the profile. I'm trying to get that into, I don't know the best way to do that, but. You see that there? That's some kind of an angle. So it's, you know, it's like an, not a true hexagon, but it's close. And uh, I think that you, this is maybe what they based their, I think this is what Steel based their hexa file on. I really do. Because this is for square filing. And I just filed my, uh, 7310 Dolmar 7310 chain 24 inch bar with it it's actually this other one here but same same deal you know same file you know people think these are triangle files but they're not they're not a triangle file so anyway if, if, if anyone's interested in uh, trying that hexa type cut, I think this is a good, like a poor man's way, <laughs> or well, not necessarily a poor man's way, but maybe, you know, uh, I can't wait, I you know, to try the new hexa file out. What's a good alternative? And there isn't any out there. This is the best you'll find, unless you know a machinist that would painstakingly make one of these. Um, so, but what I do, before I show you what the profile looks like, because I know this will look a lot like the hexa. Um, I, th I, I would I would say hexa is a mix between a square file profile and a round file profile. I mean, it's kind of the you know the happy meaning between a round and a square. I think we can all agree to that. Um, it's not quite what this will give, but it's really close. It's really close. And I can tell you why it's really close is because, you know, the angles are really close. I mean, if you know anything about square filing, you'll know that, that this, the smaller edge on here or side edge, whatever you want to call it, the bevel edge maybe, is the same width as the bevel side you use here. Okay, and then that angle is about the same as this. So, you know, and a lot of this you don't use anyway when you square file. So this is kind of the same thing. I don't know if that made any sense or not, but uh, try to follow me on that. So, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down in the description on the ones where I found these the higher end ones like this, cause you'll definitely want the higher end to last a lot longer. Um, 
But before I do that, I'm gonna kind of show you how I get the profile. See, these were uh, square ground proper uh, before, before I started on this, but let's see. So yeah, this, I'm gonna do this in a traditional uh, filing too. I'm not gonna, everybody says I do it backwards, um, you know, into the tooth instead of, you know, up the tooth or however you say that. Let's see, so right here, so right here, we're gonna go with this too. So first thing I do is I file, I'm checking to see if this is right, okay. First thing I do is I file with the, the traditional round file. Okay, just whatever gauge your chain is, go with that file, 730 seconds typically on mine. But, and uh, you know, just do a standard, I get that gullet a little bit more and to get that gullet, I, I just move my, angle about 10 degrees more like this and I'm, I'm parallel to the ground to just kind of get that kind of rock it a little bit like that just a few swipes and then I'll I'll get I'll get the uh, standard filing like this here I just follow this witness mark here but just make sure that that is uh, perfectly straight there and you have a good hook not a real big hook, but you know, your typical hook. And then you'll take your uh, three square chisel bit file and uh, line it up here. And you'll have to toy with these angles, guys, because everyone says things, things are different on these 45, 45, 45, and all this other stuff. It, it, it's, it's, it's not, let's just be honest. It's not all the same. Okay, I mean, I've seen these witness marks where they're cocked, you know, five or 10 more degrees. So I don't understand how you can go 45. Anyway, that's another, that's for another uh, video. <laughs> so just make sure that, you know, you, you line everything up just like you're typically square filing and lightly, start out really lightly. I can't stress that enough into that working corner. And just you see it come alive there. So I'm not putting that much pressure on this. You shouldn't have to if you got a good file. I also like using these little wire brushes. To, I don't know where's my tooth at. There it is. Kind of get all that out of there. Yeah, and that'll give you your uh, hexa type profile let me get this camera closer and i'll uh i'll zoom in on these teeth so you can see them okay i have my headlight on for you guys to hopefully you can see a little bit better but you can see kind of how this is uh like the side of a hexagon uh this tooth is it's more of a, a hexagon shape that's that's the side and then um you go down to one of the teeth here and you can kind of see as well. See there? See that how that kind of has a hexagon shaped or you know like a V instead of a round or a it's close to square. I mean it is square. It is square filing, but um it's you know it's like the, it's going to be a lot like that hexa steel hexa when it comes out and um hopefully y'all can see that pretty well there. Yeah, there, see, there's a good angle. See that? See how that is? That's deadly stuff right there now. That looks wicked. I think that's going to cut really well. I haven't touched these rakers yet, so I'll have to, I'll probably have to touch them just a bit. They're still completely factory. But, um, because I've been experimenting on this chain with different filings and stuff, and so yeah, you can see it really well there, guys, right there. That's the money shot. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd, uh, cause I haven't done that tooth yet. Um, 
that one needs cleaned up yet, but you know, it's work in progress. So anyway, hopefully that helps somebody out. You know, these, uh, these files right here will definitely get you by until Hexa gets here and they're, and they're probably a lot less expensive. So again, I'll leave a link down in the description where I got this one or the, I got a few of them. I'll leave a link down in the description. They're not, you know, super cheap, but they're, you know, none of the, none of these files are specialty files. So anyway, hope uh, it helps someone out that's dying to use that new Hexa. Um, until we meet again, take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs>